Auntie's Creative Studio. I'm Auntie. Today I am out on the lake bank painting and having a good old time. I am, excuse me, I am going to use a fabric this time, a number 10, and I'm using a um, Master's Touch 48 pan set, watercolor set. I'm using the Master Touch Mixed Media Pad. And I'm using the Fine Touch paint brushes, and uh, yes, I, we've cut the ends off where I can carry my paint brushes with me when I go to paint. Because uh, I just needed it that. And I'm going in with uh, Ultramarina Blue, and I'm just going in very lightly and I may do this with a bigger brush I think I am I think I'm going to use my 18 round to do this and then change over to the fill brick are y'all liking these outdoor videos It is cooling off. That's a bad thing. Going in with um, Bon Ember. And I'm go there is rocks right here. And I'm just gonna go in. And y'all, this is hard because I'm not used to painting this wet on wet. I'm not used to painting it on location either. But I am enjoying it. Um, it it's 70 degrees out here on this beautiful day. I'm not freezing. I'm not burning up. It feels pretty good to me. But I'm just going in making this like so. And I'm not sure if y'all can see that with the camera or not. The wind is blowing. So y'all probably hear that. It's make, moving the legs. I mean, I'm right on the lake. I'm going in with olive green and I've been using a lot of olive today and I'm going in to do the uh, cedar trees and I'm just going in Mm 
I hear a vehicle. I see a vehicle. Okay, I'm going back in with um, grass green to make it more of greenish than yellowish. And I'm, I don't, I'm not doing detail work today. And if y'all have been following me long, y'all know I don't usually just make a paint like this. And I'm just using the uh, raw ample, raw ample, sorry, to do this. Because there is dead seed limbs. And then for the background, or for the mountain, Just blend this in with the rocks. In the trees and also. Man, I'm a peel. I paint about like I drive, y'all. <laughs> Not really. Okay, there is some green trees. Right on that bottle over there. And I'm just going to go in with some uh, grass green and olive green mixed.
Okay, now I'm going to go in and start defining my rocks. And if I got my head in the shot, I'm sorry. Because I'm really concentrating here. Okay, I'm gonna mix in some ultramarine blue with the raw ember. A burnt ember, sorry. I've been using a lot of burnt ember to make it kind of a gray. I mean, I'm just going to touch Pentium. That's way too dark red. But I just kind of want it a little bit red in places. Just give it some depth. And I'm going to use some yellow okra. back in with ultramarine and blue. This is pretty blue. Right here on the edge. Well I'm sad. It is a beautiful lake. And uh, sorry people still looking at me like I've lost my mind doing videos. But anyways, life goes on, huh? You can tell people ain't YouTubers. <laughs> I'm going in with some white. Right there. And I know most people don't use white with uh, watercolors, but I do. I like white. I like using white. Gives it an opaque look, but it looks... It don't look good otherwise. Okay. I am going to do some grass. And I'm going to use... Uh, Olive green and grass green. I'm just going to go up through here like so. Just kind of and like so. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm not going to pull the tape off because if I do, I'll tear the paper because it's still wet and I don't have a hairdryer or a heat gun to dry it like I normally do. If you enjoy this video, give us a thumbs up, 
subscribe to us, share our links. We love you. Join us on Facebook at Angie's Creative Studio. We'll catch you later. Love you. Bye.